share this channel on the internet. How you doing guys? Welcome back, welcome back to the show. And this weekend, we're at the West Coast and we're actually gonna, it's gonna be our first time back on the water since the hurricane hit. So we're gonna take our slow time getting in and out of the channels because we don't know what to expect. We don't know something in the water. So we're gonna be cautious. So let's go with the show. And I watch. All right, let's go. Show. Yeah, I guess this is the worst house hit in the neighborhood right there. Feel bad for them. Right so we're gonna see how all the channel is on our way out. And you know how it is. The boys gotta bring the rain gear. Yeah, we gotta bring the rods gear. Just in case. Just in case. But something different though, we had a lot of fish in there. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard lately. Yeah, we had a lot of fish in the backyard That is crazy, look. Both houses have pools, but only this one got messed up. Isn't that weird? One letting strong on the other. I guess. That's really weird. So both houses have pools. And that boat's kind of... Tree destroyed. And then but this one... Laying on the tree. Wow. Uh, all you need is a few rusty bolts. Yeah, that one, that's... This, this is right from the beginning of our channel. I guess structural wise it wasn't that good all right so be careful whatever is in the water so don't go that fast well so far so good we're heading out our canal and uh for jet ski. no yeah look that's not their jet ski that's not the jet ski it just went on there yeah oh my gosh i wonder where it came from <laughs> one of the neighbors so, I found it from that canal. Oh, you no, sure? Yeah, it's not their jet ski. I don't have that. I've never seen one with a jet ski. I guess uh, oh, the jet ski guy is full on there. Wow. Okay. The, the, the whole type of this is clean sideways. Okay. Oh, the tree's down. I thought the water would be higher. It dropped. No, 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 higher coming in. Oh. Yeah, that's not good there. Oh, well, that's not even their boat, man. That is their boat. No. Yeah, yeah someone they used to stay on the lift that had the painted Yamaha. Oh, for real? Oh, the little Yamaha. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he made it through. No problem. Yeah, tie straps and everything on there. Yeah, he made it through, no problem. Just a little screen damage. And this one got a whole floating dock damage. Oh, oh no, it's a canopy. Yeah, it used to hold a lift. Oh no, it was on top of this lift, right? Oh, the whole can canopy came off. Yeah. Oh. It's salvageable. Look, a whole palm tree. Nice. Wait, how did it get from there to, what side did it come from? I don't know. Well guys, I think our neighborhood had like a five to six foot water surge. So I think overall, 
is not that bad because it could have been worse. And also, I was expecting more debris in the water. So far, we've seen a few trees and logs, but not in the way of the channel. Now our concern is basically just keep our eyes open for the sandbars because I'm pretty sure that the water currents change them around. But we don't have to worry that much because the island hopper could go over a foot of water as long as we keep the boat on plane. We are traveling down south on the river towards Sanibo, but to our surprise, as soon as we got to the south point of Cape Coral, we started to see all the destruction and we decided to slow down and take a closer look. And right away we can see that the docks and boat lifts and also the sea walls were mostly broken and also lots of roof and tree damage. And then we noticed the most painful thing of all. I guess the water surge pushed the boats into people's backyards. And then I kept panning the camera to the left. And all of a sudden, what I saw through the lens really shocked me. The boat house grill. It used to be such a beautiful place. I almost didn't recognize it. Because the whole tiki roof was gone. And also something I couldn't believe was gone was the sunset pier. Only the concrete pilings were left in the water. And also I've gotten a few messages from people out of state. They're wanting to help. You could do the same thing we did. Go to uh, floridadisaster.org and this website it was put up by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. I'm gonna leave a link on the video description if you guys want to help. Thank you so much. And I guess nature works in mysterious ways because it took the pier but it brought a lot of fish. They were all jumping around. The concrete pilings so the kids decided to try their luck. Yo, fish is blue right there. Well they tried but they didn't get lucky so we decided to pick up and get going. And we have reached Senegal Punta Raza Causeway. Now this is the causeway that broke in three different locations and you can see the heavy equipment repairing it. And this is amazing because it's been two and a half weeks and all the repairs are almost completed. I think all first responders are doing a great job from the police department, fire department, search and rescue and the utility crew. I would like to give them a big thank you for doing a great job and trying to get the community back to normal. And it's almost unbelievable to think that the water surge here was about 10 feet high. So it wiped out most of the little islands that interconnect the cosmos. So now they have to replenish most of the dirt and the asphalt. And while the road crew was fixing the causeway, the ferry was pushing, I guess, work vehicles and supplies to Sanibel. Yeah, 
And here's another place that's unrecognizable. This is Senegal Fishing Pier. And it used to be surrounded by beautiful greenery. And now it's all dry and brown. And something that used to give the final touch of beauty at the tip of Sanibel Beach was the, the beautiful lighthouse accompanied with three little houses on the base and now it stands alone on three legs and it looks like it's a war zone. And this used to be the sandbar. How deep is it now? Ten foot. Ten feet. It used to be like two feet, three feet here. And now it's ten feet. So I guess the water pressure must have dredged out the, the sandbar. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to go back to normal. Come on, at least uh, the trees and the vegetation. Look at those, the split. I guess you can't really notice on camera, but there's two different colors of water. I guess the Gulf water and the river water. <laughs> right there, two different colors. And now we're gonna head over to Fort Myers Beach. And this place is very popular for the local and the people visiting the west coast and for us too because we love coming here and beaching the boat and walking along the shore and the closer we got to the shore the more unrecognizable the coastline seemed because all we saw was massive destruction and sorry for the shaking video it's just it's kind of hard to hold the camera on a moving boat Here's something else I couldn't believe that the massive water surge took the Fort Myers fishing pier and only left the concrete pilings. And the Lanikai Beach Resort was unrecognizable. It looked like the whole complete bottom floor was cleaned out.
and I can't believe something that takes years and years to build it could be turned into ruins in a matter of hours by mother nature and talking about mother nature well I think she wants us to leave because I see the rain coming sad to see this in the way home. These islands here were once beautiful, full of green trees and healthy birds, and now it looks all dead. But we noticed around the island, along the shore, there was a lot of fish life. We were kind of curious, so we decided to stop. And you guys are gonna get a big surprise, just like we did. Fight them, baby. Fight them. Oh, that was big, boy. Fight him, don't, don't bring him out of the water. Don't another one. Yeah, another one snook. But that's coming up tomorrow in part two. And this is one more time for those people that message me and they want to help out. You can go to www.floridadisaster.org and donate there or volunteer. And one more time, I would like to thank the first responders for doing a great job. <laughs>